Welcome back to today's 3D print. Got another print for you today. Um, I found a new person. He's the guy who made this. That beautiful, beautiful wish. It's called the Wish. The fairy with the shooting star. Well, he has a whole bunch of models, and they're all gorgeous. I want to print pretty much every single one of them. There's a couple that are a little NSFW, so I won't be putting them here on the channel. <laughs> but uh, most of them are perfectly fine. Um, they're a little sexy, but they're fine, they're safe, and they're amazing. This, this guy is a genius. I never cease to be mesmerized by the ability of some of these people to create these 3D wonders that we can then print. I mean, you want me to create a, a nose cone or a bracket or something like that, or a, a, a light post tower, that's easy, that's all geometric, it's all engineering kind of stuff. But when you get into artistic kind of stuff like that, that's amazing. That's 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 a, another level of skill, and admittedly, I will never have. That's something that you either start off with and, and mature and develop and nurture, or you probably don't have it. That's a, that's a special skill. People who can do that kind of thing. Um, well, let's get started. So you saw the wish. I'm going to show you two more now. What I've done is I've got them all sliced up so I can print them on my enders. Um, two reasons. One, they look beautiful printed on the ender. I could try out a, I could try out a bunch of different kinds of filaments. And then um, I can see where there might be trouble. Because when another educational video I'm going to have soon is when you scale up a print, the mechanics change. What works when you print it this big won't necessarily work when you print it this big. Things change. Uh, for example, the moon, I was able to do that with three perimeters, no problem. That would fail if I tried to print it on the S4 three perimeters. It took six. <laughs> and you can watch my video on, I'm going to remake that at some point when I get the camera rig for the down look, um, but watch my video on the layer overhang. You have to have a sufficient number of layers to support that. So by printing it small, I can see where the little problem areas will be and then I can adapt the G-code for when I go to print them large for whichever ones I decide to print large. So, enough talking, let's show you the prints. This is pin-up nose art. So back in World War II, they would have nose art on the airplanes. And um, this is reminiscent of one where the you know, lady is riding the bomb down. So this is from Fantasy Graph. This is printed in Zyro's Twinkling Blue. And this model was beautiful. The Ender even got her little stiletto heels. Perfect. So these are the clouds, obviously, and this is the bomb, and she's riding it down. And you can see the details in her face are really quite nice. If you go to fantasygraph.com, you can download all of his models. He makes them available for free. Um, I think you can get away with charging for a few of these. These are these are beautiful. I mean, this, these are Luby quality prints. I mean, these are the kind of stuff that you want to print. They just look so nice. This one I probably will try to enlarge, although. I want to see if he can split it into three pieces for me. You know, the bomb, the clouds, and the, the woman, so I can print them in different colors. I think that would look pretty cool. And this one's pretty cool, too. This is I'm No Babe. Yeah, and she's ready to rumble. Yeah, she's got that baseball bat hidden behind her back there. <laughs> she's going to kick your butt if you're not careful. This is printed in Paramount's Autobot Blue. And it is a beautiful color. Paramount's really got it down with the dyes for their prints. They are also the one who did the iron red that I printed the Aquaticus Dragon in. Are you still focusing behind me? Focus on her, please. Thank you. Look at that. Beautiful model. Now, this is an example of what I mean by upscale troubles. Oddly enough, her shorts are going to be a problem with upscaling because her shorts, right here, are 3D, meaning they stick out, and it's a hard edge. They stick straight out. Now, because I printed this small, the plastic was able to hang on and support itself. But if I were to scale this up to, say, three times this size, that would become a problem. So um, I'm going to have to think about that. I might not be able to scale this up without some modification. I have to add, like, a, a bevel here to give the 
plastic something to grab onto when it goes to move outward from here without support because you certainly don't want to have support surrounding this model coming all the way up. It would destroy it. It would ruin it. But uh, by putting it small like this, it allows me to see those troubles before they happen. This is all hollow. The only infill that I have is in the base, obviously. I left the bottom layers completely off and just have infill. Saves plastic, saves time, makes it easier to get the print off because you don't need it. It's just going to sit on top of something. And then I have a little bit of infill at the very top of her head so that her head can close properly. There's always a chance when you close a dome that the, the layer separation, as I show you in the video dealing with perimeters and um, wall thickness in, in infill for support, um, sometimes domes don't close, so you want to have infill inside if you suspect your dome, such as the top of her head, won't close. So just the top couple millimeters has 25% grid just to make sure the top of her head closes. That's it. He makes some beautiful models. I will have some more of these models coming. They are very nicely done. I, mean, I have no problems with them. I like them. I want to print every single one of them. I have them all queued up to print. Right now I'm printing Einstein's head. Someone else posted a model, a beautiful, super high resolution model of Einstein's head, a bust. So I'm going to print that now. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Don't forget to check in the description for links to the models and the filament that I used. You guys have a wonderful day.